Hi everybody, this is Alicia from mobilitymastery.com and I am here today to answer one of the questions that was submitted to me last week um, online and I love this question, it's such a good one, it's at the foundation or the heart of everything I do in my private practice and everything I want to teach you guys out there in the world who can't come see me personally. And the question was, how do we uncouple suffering from pain? And the reason I love this question so much is that they really are two very different things. Pain is simply information. It is nothing more than our body talking to us. If we have pain in our body, we should honestly be celebrating because our body is talking to us. It's trying to get our attention. It's trying to tell us what's wrong. And if we can get curious about it, usually we can figure out what the body needs. And when we give it what it needs, the pain goes away instantly. That's what I have been finding in my office with my clients and that's what I want to teach you. So that's kind of the number one thing I would say is that pain is simply information coming from our body, trying to get our attention, that it's really a good thing and we should celebrate that our body is talking to us. And suffering on the other hand is the meaning that we attach to the painful experience that we're having. So for example, um, I can use my own life as an example. I couldn't run for eight years or hike for six. And this was like devastating to me. I mean, I was like so bummed out because I created this huge story in my head when I had knee pain so bad that it would like bring me to the ground, literally, like a knife in my kneecap. Um, and I would try to go running again and, and within like one block, knife in my kneecap again. Or, you know, I tried to go hiking and I literally couldn't even hike a small hill without stabbing sharp knee pain. And, you know, I created this story about what it means that I would never be able to trek in the Himalayas. I would never be able to run again. So like, boo-hoo, I have to trade in my beloved trails um, and sunshine and being outside for elliptical machines and fluorescent lights if I want to stay healthy and in shape. And I did that for six years. <laughs> and I was like so bummed out. I always thought in the back of my mind that there had to be a way to fix my knees, but I hadn't found the thing yet. Um, and I let it shrink my world, um, and I didn't truly get curious. Although, I will say, um, I didn't go to doctors, and I didn't want to get a cortisone shot. I did not want to have surgery or anything like that. Um, I'm kind of anti that, personally, um, because I believe our bodies can heal naturally when we give them what we need. Um, and that's been true of my private practice, and that's how I was able to fix my knees so I could run and hike again. And honestly, now I'm not afraid of any pain in my body, <laughs> And I don't believe it'll ever stop me from doing anything I want because the instant I get pain, I get curious. And when I get curious, it usually um, tells me, you know, my body usually tells me what it needs. And when I give it what it needs, I get out of pain. Like that. Really, really fast. So that's basically what I would say about, you know, uncoupling pain from suffering is pain is just the information. Suffering is the meaning we attach to it. The stories that we create around what this pain means for us. And you know, it's gonna be different for everybody. So I hope that's been helpful. This is a really fun topic. It's at the heart of what I do. And you know, the number one thing I want to like drill home to all of you out there, especially since you can't come see me um, in my private practice is get curious, foster a, an attitude of curiosity about your body. That's the number one thing you could do to get well on your way to being healthier than most people. And two, be willing to experiment. Be willing to try things to help your body. And then three, be willing to test it. <laughs> and then get curious again, and then try something else, and then test it. Um, and I'm gonna be giving you as many tools as I possibly can to both help you decode your body signals, um, you know, if you have knee pain, back pain, whatever, I know what causes those, and then help you um, use tools that you can use at home to get yourself out of pain. Uh, and, you know, hopefully you're going to use this <laughs> metaphor, I guess, or this literal thing of like uncoupling suffering from pain. I want you to stop those stories in your head that you can't run because of knee pain or you can't throw your kids in the air because of back pain or you'll never backpack again because of, you know, whatever it is. That's BS. I don't buy it. Um, and I hope you won't either.